What's up guys, this is Voltarion, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about theme composition and what you want to do to succeed in coloring and playing this game. So, alright, that's pretty easy. So what do you want in your team? usually want someone that does damage your dps character dps damage per second high dps All right so for my team i can have my leader either as marvin or barry usually barry because she has high damage 30,000. Marvin's only 20,000. You can even put her as a leader if you wanted to. So what do you want in a team? Usually you want a tank. But if you can handle it, they're just three damage dealers. That's fine. And usually you want a healer. So here's my tank, Rampang. There you go. Why you want a tank? Because they protect your team. He taunts enemy. He'll taunt enemies around this person. Since he has a higher defense, 197,000 compared to Barry, 73,000. So you want a tank to protect your DPS character. Or if you have Princess, you could use her, but mine's not raised yet. That's why I'm using Ramp Pack. And to supplement your tank, you want your healer. You got Aoba here. I picked her because she gives the party a boost of 18.2% earth attack. And it helps her out, helps him out, because they're both earth heroes. So usually you want to build a single element team just to make it easier for you when you're creating a party why do you want to build a single element team is because when you go over here say you want to level up your character star level see this is the earth dungeon it will give me Aoba I have her in my team it will give me Marvin shards so when you train a, a single element team it makes it easier because you're training most of your team at the same time so if I pick this I'll be training her Barry, Aoba and Marvin and if I made Craig my tank then all four of them are getting leveled up getting their evo shards so that's why you want to make a mono colored team. In the beginning you don't really have much choices. Just use what the game gives you. My main account gave me primarily water people. I had Marina, Bianca, so I had to work with what I got. In the second account, I got Barry and I got Nary. So they're kind of helping each other out. So I just focusing on Barry right now for my Earth team. Because what my team before Barry came was this guy, Marvin, Aoba, and I had uh, Aleph. Aleph's good, but I don't know. He was good, but Barry came along, so I just reset him and raised Barry. Anyways. Get back on track here so let's say you make your game and the game gives you a bunch of water heroes right let's say it gives you marina you want hp plus 40 that's the party buff so that's good she's a tanker the only bad thing about her 
is she doesn't have a taunt ability, but she does have an anchor that taunts distant enemies. So I guess that's alright. It's not as good as the other Hank's taunts. She has a, a smaller taunt range compared to like Craig or something. So anyway, she got her HP plus 40. You got Barry. The game is being nice and oh, she gave you Bianca. Gives you crit chance. So now you have crit chance and HP. Now you want to tank. Say you want to use Craig. Well, you don't really need another tank, but my two tanks is pretty good. My only problem is you're gonna have is uh, you're gonna get to stages where your damage isn't high enough with having two tanks. But let's say you want two tanks. So you have defense, party buff from Craig. So now you have HP from Marina. You have crit chance from Bianca and defense buff from Craig. Now you want a healer. Pick Fabi. It's decent. Attack and heal. 240% for chain skills target and injured. So when he's at max level, he'll do 240% more heal to someone who's injured or 240% more damage to someone that's injured the enemy. So when you're trying to create a team, you have to balance out attack and defense. If you just keep putting like attack then uh, and you don't have a tank, you're gonna have a hard time with um, the content because your characters don't have as much uh, defense as a tank and they're gonna get destroyed by the enemies. You need your tank to take the damage while your damage dealers like Bianca will do damage to them while they're being distracted by the tank. And then to keep your tank alive, you need your healer. So Fabi. All right. Um, I think that's about it, really. You can have three DPS and one healer. If the content is easy enough, if it's getting too hard, you need one tank, two DPS, and a healer. You gotta think about the synergy with your team. Are they helping each other out? You gotta look at their moves. Right? Her chain skill. She'll do 20% water shielding around your party members. So that's pretty good. She helps out everybody when she does her chain skill. So another thing when you're making a team, if you really want to, I guess, um, be very efficient with them, click on chain skill. So chain skill is what they do when they stun an enemy. Usually takes two hits of their weapon skill. Right? If you do your flower bomb, if you hit him like twice with it, there's a gauge on the enemy and once it gets 100% then they can do a chain skill. So let's say you hit him twice with your flower bomb, your chain skill does injured or puts them down, down they take more damage from melee. And then injured they just keep taking damage like they're poisoned. So this will inflict 300% of DPS and reduce earth type resistance for 30%. So she's like really good in a mono earth team. So while she's doing that and the enemy's all messed up, minus 30% earth resistance, you can hit him with this guy and this person. So usually after you do her chain skill, it'll put him from injured to down. And while they're down, she can combo with her chain skill from down to airborne. And while they're airborne, he can combo. So airborne to down. 
and then now this symbol over here means she can combo with anything so from down to here to down so they'll do all four of them will do their combos that's how you get more damage when you're doing Colosseum or doing the content so she'll do this 300 DPS reduce 30% earth type and then she'll do her giant umbrella 360% of DPS damage after she does that then he'll go do the smashing blow jumps high stops enemies 200% of DPS damage and after him she'll do her chain skill shoots an arrow oh wait no restores all party members HP by 50% of heal and removes negative effects so if you really want to make your team efficient make sure they do a, a full chain skill all four of them um, yeah so that's the other things you have to think about when you're trying to make a team I made some team recommendations I hope it helps you out it's over here all right over here building one element teams are easier because when you do the evil dungeons you're working on all of them at the same time there you had their attack buffs boost all for earth team I recommend Barry Aoba Craig Tinia if you don't have Tinia Hecate and here's like I put on their uh, what they're good at range high DPS would be defense Barry's weapon skill charges really fast she'll do it twice before someone else does it once her buff skill attack damage up for everybody and over here is her special five uh, five star ability when recharging 30% attack up for five seconds so I just made this list over here you can look it up check it out can make your team uh, and uh, yeah I hope this helped you if you have any questions ask me or comment or whatever and may God bless you I want you to know that God loves you uh, he's the only hope that we have after death So we have to repent of our sins because everyone has fallen short of falling falling short of the glory of God. I know this is a game video but whatever. It doesn't matter. I just want to share the gospel. The good news is our souls can be saved. We have to repent of our sins. We have to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection we believe in that we believe in the one that God has sent us then our souls can be saved and cleansed from all sins and when we die we could be with God and I hope that helped you too I hope you have a blessed day